Hello? Colin? You, you said it was an emergency. And why did you text me of all people? I don't know you. Surely you text Chris or something. And this. Something's wrong with Chris. We're all locked. I'm not going in there. <laughs> that way, is it? Is someone mucking about? Surprise! Surprise! Oh, you cunt! So, why don't you call her by her real name again? Meh, it's a preference, what of it? Don't question me, fuck off. Sure, why not? I know it ain't much. It's not exactly a local Tesco about, but yeah. Oh, Chris, you shouldn't have. <laughs> wait, wait. What flavour is it? Oh, let me think. It's got a bit of chocolate in it. And banana! You fucking legend! Oh, then come on, you have your own place. Oh! Yeah, you're right! The fucking cupboard that can't hold more than one person. Why didn't I think of that for a birthday party? Mm. Rose, you have been just the best friend. You've helped me dig myself out of a pit bigger than the one in the certain pit. <laughs> I've still got a long way to go. Thank you. My brain is teeming with ideas. Yes, yeah, sorry, right, um, bring it in, Baker. Thank you again for the space. <laughs> oh, not a problem. Although, remember our deal. Deal? What deal? They've been trying to find the source of those cracks in time. And if they can't figure it out for themselves, I get called in. But it's a one-off, though. Yes, yes, you've made that very clear. So, wait, were you helping out unit? The does that make you the doctor, but for real? Sort of, yeah. Look at you, you're full of it. Sort of, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> I still can't believe you wasted valuable unit time on those idiots. Alistair wouldn't have approved. Oh, stop <laughs> acting like you knew him. Go get the rest of the team. We have a full crew now. We have a lot of important work to do. Full? <laughs> it's not full. You still haven't filled the scientific advisor slot. We've been needing one, you know. Working on it, Professor. It's an important role. It needs a lot of thought put into it. Very well. Cool entrance! Uh.
Is, uh, is that a new shirt? <laughs> Funny, I thought you'd be the one to notice. Uh, I did, yeah, it just... I thought it felt more... Me. Mm, I don't like it. Do you remember series one? Oh, are we talking now, are we? What happened to sod off anyone called Stephen Moffat is angry and full of hate and he's evil and stuff? My mind's always up for a change. Do you remember how simple it was? There was no road entrapment. There was no monster of the week coming to kill us. Just a bunch of writers and a bunch of actors coming together and having some fun and making event television whilst they were at it. Yeah, good times. Where's this coming from? I've been doing a lot of looking back recently. Looking back on simpler times. Trying to figure out where it all went wrong. And I'm guessing that being stuck in this fanboy's wonderland hill hole of a road sprung to mind. <laughs> at, at first, yeah. But honestly, this road's been quite fun. I mean, yeah, it's scary, but it's like living out any actor's fantasy, like a play that can kill you. So, if not that, what do you think it could be? You. Me? Right, no, sorry, um, not you, you, but like, different you, alternate you, right? It's tricky to explain, but, well, <laughs> once upon a time, my mind was altered. Anger was pushed to the forefront, and I never really had time to deal with it. Well, until Rose came along. And finally, thanks to her, this all became fun again. Well, I mean, McGann keeps badgering me about doing his big finish lines, and Christ, that's stressing me out. And also, Tenor needs to stop getting his dick out, but other than that, fun. <laughs> Is there a point to this conversation, aside from kind of, sort of, definitely insulting me? Maybe not. Just good to vent, I suppose. Healthy for the mind. And what else is healthy? What? Forgiveness! Come on! Up you jump, up you get! This won't make any sense to you, hell. None of this probably did, but... For what it's worth, I'm sorry I've been such an antisocial bugger since we bumped up. It's fine. <laughs> I do still enjoy the peace and quiet, but this is good too. Friends? Friends. Oh crap, that reminds me. That reminds me. Well, you gave me the idea. It was genius. Well, what can I say? I'm an ideas man. I'll see you around, Moff. <laughs> I can feel a firm friendship building already. <laughs> Let the games begin. I can't believe I nearly forgot to wrap this thing. <laughs> Rookie mistake. Privacy mean nothing these days. I'm a mother. Okay, you know that doesn't answer my question. Also, we're all actors, so no, you're not. What? I don't have my own place, though. She said I could stay here. I know this place never made sense before, but the flat idea makes no sense. Like, how many people flat share? How many people do have a flat versus don't? Like, where's the logic? Busted it! Oh! She told me about you. Your history. You are putting my daughter in danger! Oh, right. 
Firstly, you both sound nearly identical, it's weird. Secondly, she's not a child and I'm not a danger. Oh yes you are. I know all about you, your history, what you did to the last Doctor Rome! Jesus fuck! Chill out a sec. I know my history's messy, but you have to believe me when I say that all I want from this place is a quiet life. She is very, very important to me. Ever since she came back, we've looked out for each other. She's important to me too. Wait, did you say came back? Mom, cat and jacket. Hey, Chris! Is that a present? Oh, yeah! Here you go! <sighs> I don't get it. No? Really? It's from our first story. It's like a, a, a memento. Oh, you did say you were being nostalgic. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Fine! I trust you. For now. Now. There's a strange man in my bedroom. No. What? I've got needs. Speaking of, you're going to use that hand? I don't know. Might just put it on display or something. Why? I can think of a few good uses for it. Oh! oh what? What? Oh. What? Are you judging? Ooh. What? I don't know, it felt like it moved. Mm. It's a plastic hand. Something that can't move and has never moved. Oh no. Don't <laughs> Chris! Oh, ha ha, very funny. You know you want me worried for a second. <laughs> Uh, which pocket? Fucked, so we just end up where we want to go. Questions? No? Good. Yeah. yeah, I did have a couple, actually. Where'd you get the arm? Ordered it online. I'm not making that mistake again. Are Autons real? Oh my god, the Weeping Angels came through from the crack, so... Really, anything is possible. Doctor? Eccleston. John Barrowman? Captain Jack, thank you. You will not be seeing my penis, I've put that life behind me. Good to know. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's been a while since I've seen you. Yeah, the last time I saw you was Fear Moth when I was trapped in that drawing. God, that was hilarious. Oh, sorry, no, that's alternate you. Still getting used to that. What? I will take full scan of this thing. If there is even the smallest amount of non-terrestrial substance on it, I need to know. You shouting at us? Believe it or not, not helping. Why don't we just let the professionals work, eh? Hey. Uh, yes, well... Just do it, please. 
Right, let's get into this thing. So, what you do around here? Sergeant Benton at your service. Service. I'm in charge of weapons. Oh, it keeps me busy ever since this bridge passed away. Cab Jack Harkness, I don't think I've introduced myself to you yet. Stop it! I was clearly just saying hello. Yeah, for you that's third base. Get over here! So... You're the Jack from my universe. Yeah, seems like it. But how did you get here? It's impossible. Sure want to talk. Oh. I suppose you weren't there when it... all happened. When all what happened? Our road is gone. It's dead. Unwritten but not forgotten. Just bricks and corpses. Before it's time. What the hell happened? There was a war. We lost. War with who? Mm, sort of a long story. I'll get you the box set. What? I'll tell you what I want to know. Where the hell have you been this whole time? Mm. A while after they moved me to the quickly forgotten Torchwood Road. These cracks began to appear all over the place. And, in an attempt to study them, I got sucked through. Leave my team behind. Did you not try and get back? I mean, that road was literally built for you to get your fuck on. Why else do you think of a unit? Not that I can get much work done with these assholes getting in the way. We can hear you! Yeah, good, Shaw! Good, because it was directed at you! Ugh. Why are you so perky? This. I felt my friends die. Every single one. Even witness some first hand. But. There's you. You survived. I mean, if, if you could survive. It opens the door. Brace well, this shore, report! It seems to be calling out! Some kind of distress call to all autons! Ah. And it's been heard. Benton! Oh crap, he's an auton! Run! There's my lab coat. Quick! Everybody in here! Coming? I'm going back for Jack. Keep Rose safe. Whose bedroom is this? It's filthy. Mine! So no touching anything. Got it? How long was Benton an Auton? Hard to say. Who's Chris? Fucking hell, question C, innit? Well, he went to go help Jack. Oh, of course he is. What are you trying to do? I'm screwing! I'm trying to find this signal and call off, but... I know there's too much interference. Like there's some other signal, I can't go through it. <laughs> nice sword! <laughs> and Jack's dead. He can come back to life, right? Well, if memory serves... <laughs> yep. We're good. <laughs> ah. Not again! Me and my big dumb mouth! What the hell is that for? My guess. You took down one of their foot soldiers. So I think it's calling in reinforcements. Sorry, Bob. Unit appears to be in danger. Do we need to go? No! Oh, giddy aunt. Her right arm. The sentries. Back too soon. And... My magnum opus is nearly complete. 
Howdy, Santa. Pass me my sonic screwdriver. <laughs> Howdy, Santa. Any day now. Come on. What a something I said! Tegan, do you mind getting me a towel? Tegan? <laughs> hey, who said that? It's like there's someone else in control. Don't panic. Stay still. It's all right. Calm down. Let's focus here. Eyes front. <laughs> I don't want to hurt you! Get back! Don't worry, I'll call the unit for help. They'll know what to do. <laughs> come on, come on, pick up! Please to visit the Big Finish campus. It was a pleasure as always, girls. More for you than me, of course. Johnny, you need to help me out here. I still can't see if something horrible is going on. Johnny, are you here? Oh, what are their companions' names? Um, Bradley Walsh. The other two. Is anybody in here? Please? I am freaking out right now. Don't judge. I am the box of Balloo. Let's kill the man. Don't worry, the doctor is here. <laughs> Hey team, remember when I said that this was my bedroom? Well, as it was only moments ago, we'd have to be brain dead to forget. Like him on the floor. A simple yes would have sufficed, but before me, well, it was the Brigadier's. Look under literally anything. Listen up. The Autons have most likely animated anything and everything to take over this flat. And as Doctor Who Road's first line of defence, it's our job to stop them in their tracks. We are scientists, not soldiers. Not today, you're not. Well, I did suggest to you that we should build a proper army, but... Oh, just shut up and shoot! We are taking down the Nesty! Alright, John. I can't let have you seen Road. What the hell? Jackie? Okay, so we know that the nesting has a central hub where the main blob itself can send the signal from. So, we locate that, we get in there, blasty blast, kill it dead. Excuse me, who's in charge? Right, sorry, awaiting orders, sir. Right then, here's the plan. Like you said, nice plan, with one alteration, no killing. We can just tell it to buzz off. It won't just buzz off because we tell it to. Well, of course it will. Because it's us doing it, the dream team. <sighs> right, okay, so how do we find the nesting then? I don't see any London eyes for you to completely miss. Okay, ouch, but it's a transmitter. And my guess is that it's only transmitting through the flat. So it has to be within Doctor Who Road. Some sort of small circular dish hidden somewhere here. Can you not use the sonic screwdriver? You can use that for everything. I once saw you open a bottle of wine with it. Oh, there's too much interference. It's like there's this other signal somewhere messing with the sonic's function. So we're gonna have to do this the old fashioned way. Narrow it down, go! Okay, so we know it's metal. Narrows it down. It's a circle. Narrows it down. If it can be any size, it can be hidden inside of anything. And that is not helpful. Come on, Captain. Oh, yeah, no shit. Uh, if all of this is starting now, it must have just got here. Now that narrows it down. Ah. 
fantastic! All right. Destroy it. If we destroy this, we will not find the nesting. It'll just build a new one and hide it better. Then we'll have no chance. These Auton creatures, they will have infested the entirety of Doctor Who Road by now. Who knows how many of us are in danger? Well, we better get to it then, eh? What was that? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, crikey. Are you, you okay, Rory? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm dead again, but I'll be back again for the next adventure. The usual. Good out. Amelia Pond, the nesting duplicate. Let me guess, you saw Rory do it in the Pandorica Opens and got jealous, didn't you? Well, I'm afraid jealousy is not a good colour on you. AKA the colour green. Green is not a colour that looks good on anyone. Did you see my green coat I wore for a couple of episodes? My goodness, couldn't wait to get rid of that. I'm rambling. Where were we? Right. Come on, Pond. Come on, I know you're plastic, but there's still a bit of you in there. It's that psychic link. That's it, that's it. Right there. Remember every happy, bright day we've had together. Remember your funny pregnant belly dance from the behind the scenes of Amy's Choice. Oh, and remember us going to America. And remember throwing Rory out that door just then. Don't think I didn't see that cheeky little smile. You're enjoying yourself, which means you have emotions, which means you are Amelia Pond. Doctor? Welcome back, Amelia Pond. Colin! Did you have that handled? Yes, very clearly! Sorry. I'm gonna go save a different room. Sorry. Rory. Hi, Matt. Oh, hello, Jackie. Always a pleasure. Cool. What the hell am I doing here? And I'm Rory! Yeah. There you are, Bracewell. <laughs> Sir. Would you stop ignoring me? Where the hell is my daughter? She was with Chris last time I saw her. Now, if you could run along, I am trying to stop an invasion. Where's Miss Shaw? Well, th there was a threat that presented itself, and she went in there to, to deal with it, and, well, well, she's yet to come out, really. <laughs> well, then go in after her, you coward! Yeah, you bellend! I was happy with coward, Miss Tyler. Go in there. That's an order, Bracewell. Oh, I have told you already. I am not a pissing soldier. I refuse to be something I'm not. Don't play that card with me, Bracewell. Miss Shaw is in there doing her duty. You could be in there helping her, but you're too much of a pansy British bomb man who'd rather be banging Dorabella in a post office than help. Whose bedroom is this anyway? Oh, um... Tenants. Oh, God! Be sure! Oh. Well, don't act too surprised. All sorted. No thanks to you out there, Bracewell. I, I knew you were anything new. I, I, I just didn't want to make it seem like you needed a man to save you. I, I didn't want to make you seem lesser by, with, for needing my help. And... Well done, Liz. And well done for not, um... Hey, Liz. Are we still on for tonight? Oh, of course. I didn't miss that for the world. Uh, you can't have everything, can you? Oh, uh, Colin! Wait! Hmm? I heard through the grapevine <laughs> that you were still looking for a scientific advisor. What? <laughs> what? What? Oh, it's not even worth it. Right, time to deal with these Auton bodies. No.
Sonic waves. Then just start finding the glob. Me and Jack will fight these things off. <laughs> Was somebody kissing me? No! no! Well, next time, do please. It's my favorite way to wake up. Like Sleeping Beauty or Snow White. Heads up! Oh God! No, I know how Mickey felt. Nice high spot, idiots. Wait, what am I doing? God, I'm a beautiful idiot. Oh, fuck, stop. What the hell? I've got it! It's in the basement. We have a basement? Let's sort these pens! Let's get going then! No, don't, I've got wives and kids. In. Jack! Go! I'll deal with this sexy asshole. Ah! See you in hell. Doctor Who Rhodes Basement. What do we know? Basically, what it's used for is a great big dump. <laughs> Doctors, companions, even writers use this place. Everything unwanted always ends up here. Better keep an eye out for Adam Mitchell then. Leave it. Look it right. Gans coat. But that's stylish, what? Huh? Oh no, that's Smith's green variant. This is weird though. Oh. Yuck! <sighs> that's new. from grace. <laughs> Might as well try one of these doors. This one looks cursed enough. You can't well, dare to make this made of glass. Wrapped in a skull. Now they'll see I the real you. Before it became dead, it was even a very simple word. You are a pianist. You know, it's not good for Amy that she got two lines in that. Yeah. You can wait here if you want. 
Why? Well, it could be, uh, could be dangerous. Uh, yeah, all the more reason for me to back you up. Come on, what's the plan? That's my rules. Right, here's the plan. We go in there and we stall whilst this, in my pocket, cancels out the nesting signal. That'll leave it defenceless. Do you not have that anti-plastic like last time? Wouldn't it be a simple world if I did? Mm. Right, so uh, how long will that take to cancel it out? Uh, not a clue. It's still struggling to get through this other mystery signal. You carry? Where the power estate was never the safest when filming. There's a lot of dealers. Oh, did it, did it. Poor Susan. No need to panic, Susan will be fine. Then where is she? Really, the real Susan? Uh, well, we are working on it currently. <laughs> Excellent people skills as ever, Brigadier Baker. <laughs> so, we are doing everything in our power to get your real granddaughter back. Hmm, is that right? Then what are you doing, dear boy? Hmm? The Brigadier will take any further questions as he is in charge in the matter. So, let me make a call. Eccleston has no doubt gotten somewhere by now. Uh, hang on, you've had his number the whole bloody time! And not a moment to breathe to call it. Hush, I can the phone. <laughs> oh, 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 what's wrong? Ah, too much interference. Give me a moment. Rose Tower. Come and visit the thing that's been giving us all this grief. Time Lord. Well, only when the BBC or Big Finish decide to pay me. What? Well, I understand the confusion. No, I'm here under a peaceful contract. Under uh, Article 15 of the Shadow Proclamation. The Shadow Proclamation has no jurisdiction. This dimension. Hmm. So, how did you get here? Commonwealth was bombarded daily. Used as a pawn in two large races' efforts in destroying the other. The Time War. How do you know of this? Seems like I'll know more than you might imagine. But anyway, so the Daleks and the Time Lords keep messing up your planet to the point where you need to evacuate. I got that, makes sense, but... Doesn't explain how you got here, does it? We were saved. By who? It is not known. We were promised home. Hidden in this Doctor world. As long as we took out the well, that person sounds like a complete twat. Let's go punch him in the face! Save day now, punt him later. Oh, yes, that's a good point. So, Nestine, uh, no chance you just wanna bugger off home? We have no power over the cracks. But we have no want to go back. Not when this world can become. Safe from the ravages of the Time War, and so full of delicious toxins and plastics for us to feast upon. Okay, okay. Taking over Doctor Who Road is one thing, but taking over the entire planet... It's beyond you in this day. You think too little of us. Perhaps I should show you what our power... No thanks. We'd rather not. <laughs> Aha, there we go, got past the initial signal. Now to call. Oh, Ooh, that's heavy. Can you help? 
Revenge. What? Well, like you said, we're primitives. We don't pose a threat to you. Where's the conquest in that? Where's the honor? But, what if I said we could get you home with your newfound army to take down the Daleks and the Time Lords? Yeah, I mean, with the amount of plastic you've gathered here, it's like, you can wipe out the Daleks and the Time Lords easily. And to us, you know, they're like fictional and stuff, so we don't give a shit. I don't believe you're capable of opening these cracks. This is merely deception. <laughs> not capable? He thinks we're not capable. That's a bit offensive. Look, we've done it multiple times at this point, and I can prove it. You're attached to Benton at unit. Get him to check our cameras. Hey, I know you're in our time, but do you want to get a drink after this? You're really attractive and I already use a lot of plastic things to get me off. You speak the truth. So, what do you say? This is your one chance. And if Rose is in danger, I'm going to kill you! Not now! Please, you have to believe us. We didn't know that phone signals interfered with you. You were merely a stalling. What we said is true. We don't want to hurt you. Right, here's the plan. We go in there and we stall whilst this, in my pocket, cancels out the nesting signal. Not leaving defenseless. It, it was just insurance. I wasn't going to use it. No matter. Where you lot have been hiding? So as I couldn't just get rid of the other one, maybe they need the psychic link to keep the copy working. Anyway, sorry. Right, let's go. Quick, quick, this way out. You have killed us. What? No, no, that can't be true. You're, you're lying. I was the last of the nesting. So, that's what happened. The nesting is dead. Fantastic work, both of you. 
And you know, Chris, the role of the Doctor is still open here at UNIT. No, it's not for me. Oh, come on! With Smith dropping out as well, I have no decent candidates. It doesn't make me want to join your little fan club anymore. Fan club?! Oh, Jesus, this is what I was like, wasn't it? Oi! Oh! Oh, should have seen that coming. That's on me. <laughs> she could have died in there! And she didn't! And he's standing right here and has ears and can hear and stuff, yeah? Let's not forget. Everyone in this room would be dead, including you, including me, if Rose wasn't there. I'm proud of her. I'm not convinced. I meant what I told you earlier. You are the world to me, Rose. And I am not going to lose her again! Now you are coming with me. You promised me ten minutes to cut this convo short. You owe me big time. Oh, come on, you sexy milf. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this has been the worst birthday ever. <laughs> no one even got me a balloon. I stand corrected. What did she mean by that? By what? As in you being lost again. Like you've been lost before. I don't know. I mean, sometimes my memory goes a bit funny, sure, but... I mean, I feel like I'd remember going missing. Perhaps I can clarify something. <sighs> you see, the Brigadier liked to keep things very secretive here at UNIT. And I agreed with that stance. And I still do for most of the classified documents. But Rose... You're not who you think you are. What are you on about? I know exactly who I am. I'm Rose Tyler, Billy Piper, the blonde sexy one from series one, two and four. So good, brought me back. Yeah! Eccleston, you explained earlier that there was a strange secondary signal that was interfering with your sonic device. One that you didn't know the origin of. Memory signal deactivated. Oh, Rose! Rose.